Hi, <laughs> I'm really excited. So they recently released version nine uh, or Prime 9 of the PTC MathCAD and with it comes a whole bunch of new functions. So one of the things to show you that I think is a really great tool when it comes to laying out consistent quality worksheets is the integration of styles. Uh, and so this is a text formatting feature and it's very similar if you're familiar with style sheets in Microsoft Word or, or Microsoft Office, uh, then you're going to find this uh, really intuitive. Uh, if you're not, I, I do have a, a video uh, that I'll put a link up here um, on using uh, style sheets in Microsoft Word. So if this gets you interested and you want to see how to incorporate that uh, more expansively in Microsoft Word, then uh, follow that link and it'll be uh, helpful. So I've got my document open and I've already put some text on the screen and it doesn't matter if I'm using a text block or a text box. The style is a uh, style for the text within the item itself. So you can use the style sheets regardless of whether it's a text block or a text uh, uh, box. And uh, we see that here. So I've got a couple up here. So the first one, MathCAD 9, textiles, that's heading one style, which I've applied to it. And then the other ones are mostly heading two styles. And this last one is normal. Uh, so where do we find that? So as you would expect, it's over here in text formatting. So I bring that up. And now this looks very, very similar to what you would see in the ribbon in Microsoft Word. And so we have a bunch of built-in styles here. And the easiest way to apply it is you choose a text. So all I'm going to choose this and I can turn it into a heading by just pressing heading one and it will adopt the style or the formatting that we have assigned to heading one style. Okay, which of course is adaptable and we can change it. Uh, so this becomes really, really interesting. So I wanted to point out that it is a um, it does paint, if you will, the formatting on the text. So if I only choose a portion of the text and I can change it to one of the other styles. Change this back to normal, which is where it was when we started. And you see how easy it is. Now, what are the existing styles? So this, it comes with about six styles uh, when you open up version nine. And if I expand this here, these are text boxes. Uh, and with the titles and they've just been assigned. So you can see up here, this is assigned heading one, this is assigned heading two, this is assigned heading three, and then we have our normal font and finally our subtitles and titles and, and that's what they give you. But you can create a style sheet to do just about anything. Uh, so first off, let's talk about editing the style. So you've opened this up, you've looked at it, you go, yeah, you know, what if I don't want my heading one to look just like that to make it useful to us? So we can edit it. And so I'm going to go up to heading one and I'm going to right click and then I'm going to choose edit style. And here you can see all of the formatting that you have control over when it comes to editing your style. It gives you a sample text over here, gives you the, the details. But here you can see the name of the style, uh, if it's based on uh, something else, so it's adopting the properties of something else, uh, you can do that here. But it's the font, the size of the font, bold, italics, all of the normal formatting that you would expect, the color. And then you can have some paragraph uh, formatting as well, as well. It's, uh, whether it's justified, center, left, justified, right, justified. And then we can play and do bullet lists and other things like that. So there's a lot to play with here to see what you want to do. So if I wanted to edit it, let's say we're just going to choose a different color. Maybe we're going to choose uh, this turquoise color here. And so if I say OK, all of the heading one styles will update to the new style. And uh, this is great. Now, what if I say, oh, uh, this, I wanted it to be a heading one instead of a heading two. Well, that's too easy. Now I just make it a heading one or I can change it back to a heading two. And so editing and getting your formatting looking uh, nice and tight becomes really, really easy. So quickly, I don't want to make this video long uh, because I don't think it has to be how to add a style. Uh, so if you drop this down here, you can see the full style sheet and that'll expand, that box will expand to, to show all of your styles that you've created. Uh, so we can just create a new style. Okay, and you can choose the font and everything else. So if I look at this, um, 
I want a new style. One of the things that I often do is I uh, uh, give references, right? Code references when I'm going through my calculation sheets. And I want them to be a little bit smaller and less obtrusive off to the side. So let's call this reference and base it on the normal, but let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe down to a 10 point and change the color maybe to this purple color. And I'm pretty happy with that. So let's just test it out. If I'm over here and say I'm going to do a, a reference uh, to a code, uh, I'll just call it reference. And here's a new trick when it comes to version 9. Uh, I started typing, you see that that's formatted as a, a variable, but as soon as I hit the space bar, it recognizes that you're probably typing text and it changes it automatically to a text box. So that's going to save a little bit of time. Uh, no more control T's to get our text boxes open. Uh, so we're going to just say reference 1.1.3. Maybe that's a clause. Um, and, and so I, if I want that to look like my reference style, I just go up here and, oh, where's my reference style? Did I not hit OK? Ah, there's my reference style. It puts it, I forgot it, fills it in the, over on the left rather than on the right. So I can choose that and now it will adopt my references. And, and you know, we can edit that and change it. Uh, so I think one of the, the big powers uh, that this is going to have is if you set up your style sheet and then incorporate that into your template, then when you open up a new document, it's going to have it already all set up. So I'll do that, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. Okay, hopefully that was useful and we'll get that edited up and uh, put up uh, for you to use. Uh, I think this is going to save us a little bit of time and probably make our sheets a little bit more consistent. Have a great day.